Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna take a look at the James Worthy Smooth card, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you a note again for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video, okay? So, 100 overall James Worthy from the Smooth Collection. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, he's a solid card, um, he's definitely playable. There's a couple things that I would love to have been changed with him that wasn't. He's 6'9. Obviously, 100, um, I mean, 99 offense, 99 defense. He's definitely a small forward. I would not recommend putting him at power forward. He's going to pretty much have 99 all the way through. So that's nothing to be, um, you know, that's nothing new. And then when you come out here and look at his tendencies defensively, he does have a decent pass interception, but the contest shot tendency is only a 40, um, which is something that is a little concerning. And then his block, his block shot tendency is all the way down at a 15, okay? Um, so again, I am definitely wondering when 2K is going to drop cards that have 99 tendencies defensively and all that type of stuff. Like, I mean, I don't know if that's gonna be like in game type, you know, like I said, I don't know, but um, it's pretty concerning that we're in season eight and we're still having very mid tendencies on cards. Now I do know if you souped up all these tendencies, they you basically will not be able to score, right? But this should at least be, you know, there's dark matters and there's pink diamonds that have 99s and all that. Eventually there needs to be something. I mean, hell, at least give them like 60s or something like, you know, work your way up. But that's for another story. All right, now let's look at the badges um obviously he has every single badge um i don't think i added anything yeah i didn't add any badge so he has every single badge um and then of course you don't have to worry about adding a shoe um, i can briefly just show you the total of the badges let me do that real quick for you um and the total of the badges is he has 60 hall of fame with 17 gold badges okay so without further ado let's head to the court let's look at the animations and his jump shot okay so James Worthy has his same exact jump shot that he has before his other cards. He has John Wall base with our Horford release on very quick. And um, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have any problems with the jumper. The jumper is not this, the quickest, but it's not the slowest. It's just right there. It's not um, hard to time. To me, it's a good jump shot. And a lot of people that's looking for a high jump shot or high release, this is definitely something that you will want to use. A high jump shot, high releasing jump shot is something that um, in my opinion would be great um his leaner is normal though so he does only have normal leaner all right now we've been using normal leaner since day one so it's not like it's nothing new to anybody so again it shouldn't be that hard of a transition um i know a lot of people was expecting pro 2 he does have normal hop jumper and again normal hop jumper is something that i'm not um opposed to because i feel like normal hop jumper is pretty good it's better than most of the pro jump shots i mean hop jumpers now his um spin is going to be uh pro so he has pro um spin jumper again nothing new there pretty self-explanatory okay now when it comes to his six he does have Kyrie urban dribble style so again that's pretty much expected now for everybody to have Kyrie urban dribble style he has trey young size up and he has trey young escape so we all know how good that is i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like that is one of the best um i, I don't know if i prefer it over kimba i think like they're both pretty solid only thing that really bothers me is that they did give him combo move which is kevin durant which in my opinion is like the poor man tim hardaway <laughs> combo move all right so just keep that in mind um he does have kobe bryant breakdown and then his step back is, again is not the best because it's Kyrie step back which again you, you expect 100 of our call to at least have chris paul or john wall he doesn't have that now his hesitation again is scotty pippen hesitation i'm not sure why he has scotty pippen i mean that to me is just you know like i said i i there's certain things i expect and there's other things i just don't understand and then they gave him carl anthony town spin move which you know i don't it don't look bad to me but it is a little different okay so um that's some first time i've seen a carl anthony town spin move in a while now his behind the back which everybody's gonna want to know that looks like it's either that looks like demar derozan so he has demar derozan's behind the back and again that is not what you want because it's extremely slow i would at least expect i mean heck i would have took james harden i would have took um tyrese halliburton i would have took um who else who else would you would have taken i mean i would have took steph curry behind the back i would have even went with Lamelo ball but regardless you know it is what it is 
I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like this is going to be a decent card. It is hitting behind gambling. Is it the best 100 overall card that you can get from the small four position? No. But there's the worst 100 overall cards at the small four position? Yes. So, in my humble opinion, I think that he is definitely usable and playable. Just let me know in the comment section what you think about the card. And other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. Wow. Uh,